I always saw him on the Karkhana floor, working with us, the machines. He was the son of Pirocha Godrej, but he didn't act like it. I remember his uncle, Ardeshir, had told him to observe machines carefully. Only then would he learn to love them. He took that to heart. Naval Seth always had a great love for us. Even as a child, he would take watches apart and put them back together. He saw poetry in motion, in gears, in pistons, and mechanics. Machines like me, we called out to him, we spoke to him, and he, like so few, spoke our language. But even more than us, he loved people, his workers especially. He never thought of himself as being above them. He stood shoulder to shoulder with them, solving problems, lending a hand, offering a kind ear, and most importantly, simply being there. When he wasn't in the factory, I'd be the one keeping an eye on him. I was his cabin, and I can tell you that Naval Seth did nothing half-hearted. He was all in heart and soul. His love for knowledge was just as great as his love for machines. He would sit here until late in the evening, reading up on new technologies and new machines. Even though he did not have any formal education, he could hold his own in the presence of highly qualified engineers and designers. He was also a remarkable sailor. But that is to be expected. He was always a master of navigating rough seas and charting the perfect course, a natural. But his greatest passion was, of course, his family. With them, he was no longer Naval Seth. With his children, he would play and have fun as if he was a child himself. As a father, he doted upon his children and was even very popular with their friends. As his children grew up, he related with them as a friend, a companion who'd always be there for them. Naval Seth spent a great many hours with me, his beloved Karkhana. He had what you might call a can-do attitude. What apart from that would compel someone to take on the manufacture of 12 lakh ballot boxes for India's first free elections? Especially when the factory that was to make them wasn't even ready yet. It was risky, but he made it happen. Because he knew that the future of our democracy depended on it. When an Indian-made refrigerator was an improbable idea, he made it a reality. And then made it a resounding success. It was one of the many strides he took towards creating a self-reliant India. But his ambitions extended beyond our borders. He conceived and launched an international exhibition for the global machine tools industry, Intex, that would put both India and Godrej on the world stage. And thus, tool by tool, machine by machine, he built the Godrej we see today. But for Naval, the factory was not just about business. He used his ingenuity to meet the challenge of creating parts for India's fledgling space program. His products would now have to perform beyond this earth. They did. And they still are.
When does someone say, it's good enough? <laughs> Naval Seth never did. It had to be perfect. That's what set him apart. He always believed machines had a life of their own. And a machine that wasn't perfect was a machine that wasn't living up to its potential. The first version of me he built wasn't bad. I just wasn't perfect. It took several versions before he had silenced his greatest critic, himself. Imagine my pride when he named me after his father and uncle. He had created something world-class simply because of his tenacity. He'd taken on global players and beaten them. That was Naval Seth, never satisfied until a product was worthy of the Godrej name, until it was worthy of being one of his creations. You could say that I am one of his most lasting legacies. Sometimes you look at a place, its size and scale, and think, how did this even come to be? It would have been so simple for Naval Seth to focus on building factories, to build a township that simply did the job. But for a person like him, that would never do. He wanted me to become a beacon for what was possible. We set out to create the perfect balance between industry and ecology, with conservational initiatives that were decades ahead of their time. I was designed to be a model for his vision of society. One where workers and their families could thrive. The Udhyachal School, the Pragati Kendra and the housing colonies were all designed to ensure that his parivar had access to the best facilities. Very few can see as far ahead as Naval Seth could. Even fewer have the courage to make that vision a reality. Naval Seth had that vision, but he also had the passion and the conviction to create the future. <laughs>